Bernadine traveled about 8,500 miles to come visit me here in western New York. She landed in Atlanta and then took another plane to Buffalo, New York. And finally, we met each other at the Buffalo Airport. Welcome to New York, my African princess. And the weather here in New York is uh, early spring, so it's still cool. And um, the, the trees are still bare, but the flowers are just starting to come out. And so uh, it's a pretty time of year. It'll slowly warm up. And we had a nice day, and so there's my helper. She came right out and drove the meal around. Oh, this is when we went shopping at uh, Top Supermarket. And then we took a trip to uh, Warren, Pennsylvania. And she saw this Wicked Warren's uh, sign. I think it was a restaurant. So there we are down in Warren, Pennsylvania. And while we were in Warren, we visited the Kinzu Dam. Uh, they dammed up the Allegheny River and they generate power there at that dam. We got all dressed up and went out uh, to eat at this nice restaurant where I play in Jamestown. It's called the Chop House. There's the band that I play with. I live near the Great Lakes and this is on Lake Erie. It's called the Barcelona Harbor and we uh, rode the motorcycle over there just to see the lake. And it's near Westfield, New York. And back in 1861, President Lincoln visited uh, Westfield. And there's a story about a little girl who suggested that uh, President Lincoln would look better if he grew a beard. And so he actually did grow a beard. And this little girl's famous. Bernadine's cooking. Yummy. <laughs> This is my nephew Tom on the right, and his son Toby, and his wife Clarissa. Kendra and me on her back porch. And this is my son Troy and his family. On the left is Lottie, then Lily, Tiller, Courtney, and Troy's holding Cora. Ready, set, go. My little granddaughters, Cora and Lottie, came to visit, and Bernadine made cookies with them. They loved that. And then we went to the playground. And those little girls took to Bernadine right off the bat. They just loved her. I guess Lottie's legs got tired. And of course, Grandma's got to ride on that thing. Well, this was another day we went to uh, Jamestown on the bike. And here we are back home. Bernadine's favorite place in her kitchen. And this is what's going on here. She's making some cakes. There's one. She got another one in here. <laughs> we do uh, shopping down in Dunkirk, New York, and this is a beach there right on the lake, Lake Erie. <laughs> Beautiful area in New York State called the Thousand Islands. And I wanted to take Bernadine up there. Now, I live over here in western New York, right about here. And so we decided to ride the motorcycle up there. And so we took off and we rode down like this and over 
and up past the Finger Lakes. This is called the Finger Lake region. And then we went on up near Lake uh, Ontario, this is Lake Ontario. And we cut over like this and got on this uh, super highway up past Watertown. And this is the St. Lawrence River, which empties Lake Ontario, really all the Great Lakes, uh, go down this river to the Atlantic Ocean. So right up here is a beautiful area called the Thousand Islands. The trip to the Thousand Islands will be an all-day ride, and we can't go that far unless Bernadine has a leather jacket. And so we went to the Harley dealership and and we got her a jacket. So here we are, we're getting ready to leave. Packing up the trike. Okay, so here we are. You can see the sign up there that says Alexandria. And uh, the arrow that is pointing towards Clayton, that goes over the Thousand Island Bridge that crosses the St. Lawrence River. But we're going to take this exit right here to the Alexandria Bay, it's called. Now, while we were there, we decided to take the Uncle Sam boat tour of the Thousand Islands. And so this is the boat. And we're waiting to uh, get our tickets to go on the boat tour. These large ships come from the Atlantic Ocean, from all over the world, and they travel up this uh, St. Lawrence River and across Lake Ontario and then into Lake Erie. And there's several locks along the way that raise these big ships up, and uh, they can travel through all the Great Lakes. So here we go. Bernadine's ready for the boat tour. And here we are, and this is the first island that we're passing, one of many on our trip. Here's another one of those big ocean-going vessels. Now this is called Hart Island and the story is that this uh, rich guy from New York City bought this island and, and he built a castle for his wife. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful castle but it was never finished because during the time that they were building, his wife died. And so when that happened, he immediately stopped work on the castle. There's all kinds of islands. This is one of the smallest ones. See that little house there? And this is um, Hart Island, where the castle is called Bolt Castle. Right now we're just driving by the island on the boat there and later on we'll we'll actually stop and go through the castle. That's later in the video here. Now this international tour took us over on the Canadian side of the river and we didn't need a passport or anything because we were staying right on the boat. But that uh, boundary between the United States and Canada goes right up through the middle of the river. And so that's, you can see the Canadian flag there. This is actually the Canadian side. That's the Thousand Island Bridge right there. And that crosses over from the United States to Canada. You can see how big and wide this river is. And the funny thing is, parts of it's really shallow. You can see the bottom. And then other parts are deep enough for those big ocean ships. Now, Bernadine, no matter where she goes, she uh, makes friends and has a great time. And this guy here, 
um, turns out, did his schooling in South Africa. And so she went up to him and asked if, if she could have her picture taken with him. And he said, sure. Well, they got to talking, and that's when she found out that he went to school in uh, South Africa. It's just a beautiful, beautiful area. You can see it's still a little bit cool. We, we had our sweatshirts on that day. And uh, he was a very good tour guide. He gave us, he told us all about the islands and uh, the bridge and just a lot of facts that I had never heard before because I hadn't ever taken this international tour. One of the things we learned from the tour guide was that there is actually about 1,800 islands uh, up and down the St. Lawrence River, some really tiny and some quite large. It's a remarkable area. There's nothing like it anywhere else that I've ever heard of. We are approaching Hart Island, and we'll go right down here to this little uh, dock area where all the tourists unload right here. This dock wasn't here the last time I was up in the Thousand Islands, so they've just built it recently for the tourist boats. Okay, so this was a plaque that was uh, mounted along the walkway, and um, it, it just shows all the different things that are on the island. So we unloaded right here at this dock area, and then we traveled up through and um, along this pathway. And uh, they're just beautiful gardens and so on nowadays. They've done a great job of uh, restoring the whole, the whole island, not just the castle, but the grounds and all. And we traveled in from the main entrance to the castle. Now here we are inside the castle. And as I mentioned, it was never finished back in the day. And so the New York State Thruway Authority has raised millions of dollars and they finished the interior of the castle. Now, when I was up here years ago, it was just bare concrete floors and unfinished walls and so on. And so they've, they've uh, spent a lot of money here and uh, done a beautiful job. And it's a, it's a tourist attraction for New York State, for sure. You can imagine this rich guy and his wife living here but they never had the chance. Bernadine said if she was around back then, she wouldn't be the one that owned the castle and living in the castle. She'd, she'd be the uh, chef in the kitchen. <laughs> now here we are about to go over the uh, Thousand Island Bridge on the, on the trike. And so I handed my phone to Bernadine and she snapped a few pictures as we were going over the bridge here. Now that bridge goes uh, over the St. Lawrence River to Canada, but we got off at an exit on an island which was still on the American side. And uh, every time we saw something funny or interesting, Bernadine had me pull over so we could take a picture. She got a kick out of this sign. We had a great trip up there to the Thousand Islands, that's for sure. Warren nicknamed us Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> this is a map of the Western New York area. And our home is right here in South Dayton, South Dayton, New York. And um, Bernadine and I toured around the western New York area, and I wanted to show her the sights, you know. So there's lots to see. In the southern part of the county is the Allegheny State Park, and it's the largest park in New York State. And um, this is very close to the Pennsylvania border. This is the Pennsylvania border down here. Lots of times we would go shopping in Jamestown, New York, and the Chautauqua Lake is a, is a nice lake right here, and uh, we took the boat over there and, 
and put it on the lake and and uh, I showed uh, Bernadine the Bemis Point area. It's a very big uh, tourist area. In fact, that's uh, later on. Uh, I played a couple of music gigs there in Bemis Point at the Splash Club. It's called. Anyway, that's the area that we we went shopping, grocery shopping, lots of times in Jamestown. Um, now. Another town that's real close by is Gwanda, and that's where the church is. That's that's where the Episcopal church is that we attended. And um, the other place where we did our grocery shopping is Dunkirk, New York. So we would travel from South Dayton over to Dunkirk and go to the grocery stores and Walmart and so on there. Now, if you travel up north towards Buffalo, You'll see that on the left here is Lake Erie, and uh, the border with Canada is right down the middle of that lake. So on this side is New York State, and on this side is Ontario, Canada. And so as you go up into Buffalo, the city of Buffalo, you traveled north, and this is called Grand Island right here. We took a bridge over Grand Island, and uh, it's uh, the Buffalo River that uh, goes down through here like this and it splits right here and part of the river goes this way and part goes this way and as it continues on down it goes over Niagara Falls well one day we were in Buffalo and um, I saw a sign for Niagara Falls well we had planned to go to Niagara Falls and I said to her that day we're this close why don't we, why don't we go to Niagara Falls and so we did and that turned out to be one of the nicest days that we had uh, during her entire trip. The weather was perfect. It was a beautiful sunny day. And we just enjoyed ourselves on that spur of the moment decision to go to Niagara Falls. Normally when people go to Niagara Falls, they go to the Canadian side because the view is better over there and there's so much more to do. Uh, but anyway, we, we stayed on the United States side and went to the uh, park there. And uh, as it turns out, it's a really beautiful park. And uh, I've only been there a couple other times, like I say, because most of the time we would go to the uh, Canadian side. But we had a great time that day, and uh, the views were beautiful from this side. So we, we enjoyed ourselves. Now, one thing that Bernadine had on her bucket list coming to the United States was to have a hot dog. She'd heard that the hot dogs are really good. Well, not so much. She'll have to tell you about this hot dog adventure. <laughs> Alright, check this thing out. Bernadine is making her, her famous sausage. There it comes. I got the attachments for this uh, mixer that I have here. I've, I've never used any attachments, and Bernadine was telling me about it and how cool it would be to have that to make sausage. And so now, when I come over there, we're going to have to get her a mixer. I own this little pontoon boat, and we took it over Chautauqua Lake this particular day. There's another lake we go to also, which is uh, Castadega Lake. That's a smaller one. But Bernadine drove the boat, and we, we ate lunch out there. We had a great time. And she was telling me how she likes to fish. And so we're going to have to do some fishing when she comes back next time. Because she knows how to cook fish. I'm all for that. This is my granddaughter, Lottie. It's game time on the front porch. <laughs> This is a raccoon, and we had raccoon troubles. They moved into my barn, on the top of my barn, and uh, my daughter loaned me a camera, and we put it up there and caught all kinds of them. I took them down to the woods and let them go. Finally got them all trapped out of there. Well, this cute African lady has made me pretty happy. <laughs> 
One day we rode the trike over to Ellicottville. I wanted to show Bernadine this tourist town. There's a ski resort there. Draws a lot of people in the winter time for skiing. And it's a, it's a big money place. A lot of big beautiful uh, lodges and so on. That's an old picture I took of the lift for the skiers. So that was quite a day. There she is walking down the main street. This is St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Gowanda, and this is the church that my family has attended uh, all these years, and my wife was the church organist over there for 35 years. We started going to church over there, and everybody just loved Bernadine, and now she's got a new church family right there in Gowanda at St. Mary's. This is the basement of the church. They call it the Undercroft. And in 2009, there was a terrible flood in Gowanda, and it ruined that basement. And so I took on the job of uh, remodeling down there. And one other guy and I worked there eight months and uh, restored the place. And here, Bernadine is seated with Father David and his wife Diane. And this is at the Chautauqua Tea, it's called. Uh, there's a cottage over on the Chautauqua Lake at the Chautauqua Institution, and, and we put on a tea every year. Here you can see my personal chef. Uh, she whipped up a bunch of food, and she's setting it out there. It looks wonderful, huh? And here we are at the fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another fun day at the fair. Really nice weather again. We had a good time at our county fair. There's a guy that raises chickens and slaughters them, and he also raises pigs. And we stopped there looking for the chicken, but uh, she got to talking to him about saving a pig's head so <laughs> anyway she told me she was gonna make brawn out of this pig's head so there you go i told her that it uh was an african thing i guess <laughs> my friend kim and i well this is the infamous breaking and entering caper we took a walk one day, and I was telling Bernadine about this old abandoned house. And she loves these old houses, so we walked up in there, and I said, let's go inside. So we did, and she noticed there was a light on in there. And I said, oh, my goodness, the electricity must be on. Let's get out of here. And so we ran out, and, and I was telling her that uh, the house used to be located downtown. This is an old picture. It was right at the end of this street. She'll know where it is. And... Um, they, they jacked that house up, and they moved it, oh, I'd say a half a mile across this field up into the woods where it sits now. And so if we hit the, the lottery, we're going to buy that thing and restore it. Kendra had a nice farewell party for Bernadine. We can't believe how fast this six months has gone. And uh, she made a lot of friends over here. And the church put on a farewell luncheon. She is everything that I thought she would be and more. We got her suitcases all packed up, and she's ready for that there long plane ride home, about 8,500 miles. <laughs>
I'm ready to go on safari. Well, hello, big boy. What's wrong with you? And then there's monkeys. <laughs>